So let's go ahead and solve another problem. Question two. You are considering leasing a car. The lease allows you to drive up to 12,500 miles per year, and after that, you are charged 10 cents per mile. In real life, maybe your lease would be different. Use the following to create a 90% confidence interval to predict the average number of miles driven a year and decide if the lease is a good idea or not. A sample of 100 students averaged 11,878 miles per year with a known standard deviation of 3,577 miles, answer with whole numbers. So as we reread the question, we were asked to create a 90% confidence interval, and most specifically, it was about the average, so we know what type of confidence interval we're working with. It didn't say that we had a normal distribution, but we do have a sample, whoops, sorry, wrong color. We do have a sample of 100 students, so we can use assume normality. And so first thing is, with a 90% confidence interval, maybe we've memorized that Z alpha over two is 1.645. If not, we would need to go find that by hand. So we take our confidence interval formula of our point estimate, plus or minus the margin of error, and plug in the values. And so then I need to go ahead and enter that all the way across in my calculator. So I get a lower limit and an upper limit. I'm told to answer with whole numbers, so I need to go back and decide if the 9 stays a 9 or rounds up, and if my 6 stays a 6 or rounds up, and then I can go ahead and answer the question. So I have found that the average number of miles driven per year with somebody in my situation is probably between 11,290 miles and 12,466 miles. Now keep in mind, I'm assuming a sample of 100 students would balance each other out. If you know you're driving to Vegas every weekend, don't sample students unless they all drive to Vegas every weekend. But going with this situation, I need to answer part A. Based on my answer, should I lease the car, I need to be sure to include yes or no, and I include my values for making the decision. So based on the information above, I have decided, yes, I should lease the car since the true amount driven should be between 11,290 miles per year and 12,466 miles per year. All numbers in this range are below 12,500 miles per year, the point at which there will be additional costs or charges.